spy somewhere? Let me go. I don't think so. Let me go. Not until you tell me why you're spying on my family. Be careful, you're gonna hurt yourself. Let go of me, I don't Matt. think so. You... Come on in, fine. Boy, what do you have here? Oh, look what I found. I came to see Marcus. Really? Why were you leaving? Because I didn't okay. want to interrupt the Brady Bunch Time at out. play. Time yeah. out. Come Excuse here, Pumpkin. Let's go upstairs. Excuse me, little ears. Evening, guy. Come on, let's go. Look. Why did you drag me in here? When it comes to protecting my family, I do what I have to. Oh, that's funny. I thought I was part of your family. I think you've made it perfectly clear which family you want to be a part of. Don't go away. Yes, I've got some good news. I thought you two hated each other. We do. Funny, that's not how it looked to me. Can a girl tell a guy off without an audience? You always tell people off by whispering in their ear? So I didn't want to broadcast it all over your sister's dive, so what? Is that what I walked in on? Yeah, it was. I've just about heard enough. Oh, wait a minute, slime bag. Oh, slime bag? Ooh, that hurt. Oh, to think, I was just starting to like you again. So now Hart has the title of biggest slime bag of all? Last week he told me it was Roger. Okay, so I learned the sun was even worse. Or hey, maybe Matt. none of this is real. Matt! Hello, did I tell you? Hart's looking for a job, and maybe you could give him his old job back now, huh? Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Bridget. I can get my own job. I couldn't even if I wanted to. I had to lay off most of my men today. You're kidding. Why? What happened? What about the whole big Fifth Street thing? What are you going to do? Some big corporations sold us out. What about all those people that lost their homes in that fire? Okay, I'm going to be sick now. Bye. You know what? I have an idea. Why don't we give job, hard a job at company? Right? Work part-time? What do you think? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Oh, thanks to both of you. I really appreciate it. But actually, I got a job interview right now with the guy downtown. And I'm late. I should be getting... Bye. 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 The hotel better be on fire. No flames, just a bad smell. All right, tell Hart to come out. I know he's in here. What are you doing here, Matt? Hmm? Thought you were all ticked off at Dinah because she was spying on your family. I knew you weren't being square with me back at the boarding house. She already told you what that was about. Yeah, not that it's any of your business. It involves my wife, my nephew, my sister, my business. Tell me, Dinah, I'm not sure how this works. I mean, first you're with Roger, then you hate Roger, and you're shacking up with the son. Then you hate the son, you get back with the father. Only you don't hate the son enough to stay away from him while the father's gone. I don't know. I mean, what hand are you going to play here? I mean, you can only put down five cards. You must be holding 20. Go away, Matt. We've been through too much for you not to be straight with me, Dinah. I mean it, Matt. This doesn't concern you. Your mother hurts every day because of you. And when Vanessa hurts, I hurt. She thought you were out of your mind going back to Roger. What's she going to think when she finds that you're back with this idiot? Hey, that's enough, man. That's enough. I can handle this, Hart. Well, somebody better. <sighs> okay. First of all, I don't hate my mother. Make sure she knows that. That is not what this is all about. Then what the hell is this about, Dinah? I told you, it's none of your business. I'm making it my business. Hey, why don't you ease off, okay? Just because you're married to her mother doesn't give you any rights with her. Look, why don't you just relax? Okay, Matt, boy, Matt, okay? Matt, Matt, you have to trust me. I, I went back to Roger for a reason, a reason you don't know. So tell me. I can't, not yet. I, now, you said we've been through a lot together and we have, so I'm asking you, no, I'm not asking you, I'm begging you to trust me. I know what I'm doing. You can understand how that may be a little hard for me to believe, Diana. I know, okay, fine, but please, Matt, please, give me the benefit of the doubt, okay? I mean, someday you're going to know everything and you're going to understand, but for now I really need to handle this my way. All I'm asking is that you trust me and don't tell anyone what I've told you. Do you think I like the fact that everyone thinks I'm the biggest fool in the world? I mean, maybe I was once, but I'm not anymore. I am not the fool who married Roger. 
And I'm certainly not the fool that you knew who deliberately got herself kidnapped. I'll buy that. You've changed. The trouble is, Roger hasn't. And whatever you're up to with him, it could be dangerous because he is dangerous. I, I know, but I can handle him. I can. He's capable of anything, Donna. He's done anything. I know. I've got it covered, Matt. I want to believe that. Then please do. Please. Okay. Now, make sure that my mother knows that I'm okay and that I don't hate her. But that's all you can tell her. If you say anything else, you are going to wreck everything for me. Don't make me regret this. Oh, dear. Look at that. What's going on? Oh, come on. I know. It's a reading of Henry's will. I guess they want us to be there. Oh, this is really creepy. Oh, no. Hey, we might inherit something, huh? Oh, could be. So where did you go? I just had to take care of a few things. Some unfinished business. Ooh, secretive. Is it finished? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs>